Let's pray one more time. Our Father in heaven, we ask that you cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. Be merciful to us. Please pour your Holy Spirit to us, Lord, especially to me as I uh, read your word. For the sake of your children, Lord, help me to be faithful to your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. So thank you for the invite, ma'am. I really like to to preach the word because God's word is the best thing. Yeah? Ang ganda. God's word is very nice. Very logical, very profitable, very powerful, everything. Okay, Romans 8.38 says, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities. Ang topic po natin ngayon pala, our topic is about ano, how to receive the Holy Spirit. And last time I was here, my topic was about the Holy Spirit, uh, those things. But now, specifically, how to receive the Holy Spirit, that is why our elder was saying uh, the Holy Spirit will be with us. And that's what we need. <clears throat> yeah. So, God's love is very powerful. Even evil angels, principalities, powers in this world, there is nothing that can separate us from God's love, yeah? which is in Jesus Christ our Lord. There is a story about Charles Finney. He is 26 years old. He is, doesn't know anything. He is ignorant as a heathen. You know, heathen means you don't believe in God. He doesn't know anything. But he realized he was a sinner. You know when we realize that we are sinners? That is the start of repentance. And then he read the Bible for two days. But nothing happened to him. But at least he is reading the Bible, yeah? Reading the Bible is good. And then he heard a voice. And he understood how salvation works. How atonement works. Sometimes, binabasa natin, hindi natin nagigets. Then, then the Holy Spirit will explain, bigla na lang, ah! And then he understood, aha! And he received the Holy Spirit baptism and he became a powerful evangelist. Yeah? <clears throat> okay, we'll skip the song. So these are the conditions on endowment of the Holy Spirit. In the Bible, there are events and stories how they received the Holy Spirit. And we are just going to study how was the Holy Spirit given to people in the Bible. Okay. Of course, this is the summary of the whole presentation, this part. Repentance. Implicit trust. When we trust God, because we know that there is nothing else we can trust. We cannot trust people, we cannot trust money, we cannot trust organization, we cannot trust government. Only God is faithful, di ba? Obedience, of course. How can we receive the Holy Spirit if we are rebellious, right? A burden to share. You know what? We don't receive the Holy Spirit for the sake of us only. We receive the Holy Spirit because we want to share. Because for the usefulness of ourselves to the church, yeah? <clears throat> Excuse me, sinisipo na ako. And persistent intercession. Ask for the Holy Spirit and you shall receive. Right? Honoring the body temple. If you drink beer, <laughs> that is a different spirit. <laughs> Okay, different spirit will possess you. A desire of Christ, oh sorry, kulang na edge, to abide in the heart. When we want Jesus to stay in us, you know that in the Bible, I in, abide in me and I in you. Okay, yeah, so that is in the Bible also. And then, now let's look at the verses that where those ideas come from. And our uh, Bible verse reader, ang bilis niya magbasa ng Tagalog. Pagpapastor po ba yan pag ano? Pag graduate yan? Ang bilis magbasa ng Tagalog. Ako yung naingit. Kasi ako yung speak, uh, English speaking ng bata ako. That's why I'm having hard time uh, reading Tagalog. Nauna pa yung mga bata sa akin. Pag, nag, pag nag-proceed kami ng Tagalog, nauna pa magpatapos basahin ng mga bata yung slide ko kaysa ako. So, gift of tongues yan. That is the modern gift of tongues. Yeah? If you can read fast. And you know, if you read how fast, it's not boring. Yeah? Yeah, okay. I will read fast. Now, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart. What did they hear? 
When they hear the gospel, oh, I am wrong. Aray ko. Natamaan. But they have a good question. They said to Peter, how, what shall we do? When you hear the, the truth and you are pricked in your heart, the question is, so what, what do you want us to do? Oh, wow. Very nice. Then Peter said to them, repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and ye shall receive the Holy Ghost. Wow. So what is the prayer? What is happening before you receive the Holy Ghost? Repent. Yeah? Repent. Repent and then you receive the Holy Ghost. You know what somebody told me? 